second lecture for English 102, um, and it will there will be no quiz over this lecture. <clears throat> this is help for turning in and getting paper one, uh, which counts twice what anything else. All three papers count double, remember. So um, this is a very important thing. This morning I came to work, looked on, turned my computer on, and had students who'd sent me papers. You do not send the paper here by email. It will be up on the website. It is not due yet. I also and it wasn't the papers that I saw were not done in MLA format, which meant that if you're turning them in for a grade, you've got an E. All right. Now I just X'd them out. And we're starting following the calendar. Following the calendar. Make a copy of the calendar and follow it because I do. It's right here on my bulletin board. Okay? Right where I can see it uh, every day. The English essay is up. The terrible word list is up on the website. Um, this is lecture two. The a place to put your <clears throat> works cited page is up on the website. You turn it in in Blackboard, and I will grade it through Blackboard. You don't send me any more um, assignments through Blackboard unless you have rewrites. Okay. Uh, paper one is going to be turned in the same way through Blackboard. It's due on the due date on your calendar. I'm not going to tell you because I want you to get out the calendar and look up the due date. I don't accept early papers. They're due on the day they are due. Now, I may open up on Blackboard early, and if you get it done early, you can turn it in. But remember, that's going to be graded. So just getting it done and turning in, whatever thing comes to your mind, is not going to work. Now, one of the places that, uh, by the way, that will go through Safe Assign on Blackboard. So you must turn it in through Blackboard. Safe Assign is a plagiarism check. One of the things um, that um, I'm doing is asking you to turn in your works cited page. You'll get 25 points just for turning in the page if it's done correctly. Because if you don't do the works cited page correctly, it will count off on your paper. So I'm giving you this chance to get 25 extra points, do it right, make sure you've got it okay before you go any further. I did want to say that those of you who don't know what on earth the assignment is, look up the words. Look up fracking. Look up standing rock. Don't just write the first thing that pops into your head that you know something about. Because I'm going to tell you, when I get bored with papers, you don't want me grading your paper. Right? So don't just pick the first thing that pops into your head. Do some research. Do some research. That's the first problem you have to solve. What paper am I going to write about? And if you just do the easiest thing, I, I think the grade will show it. Okay? Look some things up. This is about research, looking up stuff, finding what we think, discovering what we think. Maybe we change our minds. Goodness knows. Over my lifetime, I've changed my mind a million, I don't know how many times. Sometimes more information is the best thing we can, we can do. Get more information before you make those decisions, okay? Solve the problem by doing some research and having some basis for your response. Okay, if the works cited page is incorrect, I can hardly grade the paper and I can assure you it will go down. So you want to get me a works cited page that is done correctly, that is using hanging indent. Look at the hanging indent, it's on um, the internet. 
make sure it's the MLA hanging indent and I have attached it to the website. Look down the table of contents and at the bottom it'll say, I think near the bottom, hanging indent. Click on it and you can see how to do that through, um, oh, anyway, YouTube. Couldn't say YouTube. All I wanted to say was internet again. Uh, there are several of them. Make sure it's MLA. Now, follow the directions. Get out OWL. Look at OWL. That is your textbook. I've said many times, sometimes I've used a textbook in OWL. Sometimes you, I've just used OWL. Sometimes I've used a textbook and not OWL. And here's the thing. Students who are going to use the textbook, a paper textbook, will use OWL. And student, students who aren't going to use their textbook won't use OWL either. So you have got to make a point of getting on OWL and looking at those examples. Because if you don't, it's like you've never opened your textbook. Okay? And you can't pass the course without using the textbook. OWL is your textbook. I'm sorry. It's Monday morning. Ugh, I'm a little vehement this morning. Now, on OWL, you don't have to memorize anything. Nothing. You don't have to memorize anything. All you have to do is look it up. And look it up every time. One of the things I got was a single space paper. Nothing in MLA is ever single spaced. And if you looked at any paper, the sample paper on the website, for this class on OWL anywhere, any MLA paper, you could get 20 off from the internet today. They'll be all double spaced, okay? And by double spaced, I mean spacing between the lines. Okay. Don't memorize anything. Just find out where to look it up and always look it up and check. I still do that and I've been writing papers for more years than you've been alive, probably. Okay, do not use databases. I want you to look up your own materials. I will not accept a database, okay? That's for juniors in college, seniors in college. We want to get this building block of English 101 to make a good base for your research from now on, okay? This is a building block. It's about learning how to start doing things, and you add to it every year. Now, the OWL tech is your textbook. It is the new MLA. Make sure you go down when you type in OWL in your search engine. There will be a table of contents come up on your left hand, on the left hand side, your left hand side, okay? On the left-hand side of the screen, there will be a table of contents. Go down to the bottom of that table of contents where it says MLA, Modern Language Association, MLA. Click on that. The MLA section will come up. That's the only section you need in OWL. Now, on the MLA section, there will be another table of contents. It has a sample paper. It has uh, the um, PowerPoint presentation you were supposed to have looked at last week. Now remember, I'm not testing you over that because you don't have to memorize anything. But if you don't go in there and find out what you need to know, where it is, not memorize it, just know where it is, where to look it up, you won't be able to do this course. I'm sorry, I've gotten to preaching a little bit. Now, the OWL MLA is based on the 2016 MLA standards, which are a brand new um, uh, revision of the MLA standards. If you pick up some grammar book, some textbook that you're older brother or sister or younger brother or sister had in college and look it up in there, 
it's probably going to be wrong because it was all changed last year in 2016. Okay? Now, go on OWL. It is up to date, and I can't promise you that any other textbook is. Because last year, I looked, 2016, I looked for textbooks that uh, had the, the updated MLA, and they hadn't done it yet, most of them. And some of them had done it incorrectly. Al's the only thing I found that's absolutely got it right. Okay? Now, if it is on OWL, after you turn your paper in and I grade it, and you find something, you say, wait, I saw that on OWL. If you can, and under MLA on OWL, if you can tell me where it was, I'll give you credit for it. If you can prove that you looked that up on OWL, then I'll give you credit, okay? Remember, when I grade something, your grade can never go down from when I graded it originally. But it can go up if you're polite and you ask me to reconsider. If I can find it on OWL, I will give you, um, I will give you the credit for that. Now, I just want to say again, um, and, and I don't want uh, to be... Um, haranguing people over this because, uh, of course, it's always a small portion of the class. But if you don't read the calendar, you can't take this class. We don't meet. You've got to follow what's on the calendar. Okay? When I come in on a Monday morning and I get uh, two or three emails. Do we have to do anything this week? I know you're not in the course yet. You're not doing your work. You're not acting like a college student. Okay? Get the calendar if you haven't done it yet. You have to follow the calendar because I do. Okay? All right. Paper one is due next week, so we've got time to work on it. When you turn things in that just you get off the top of your head, I already know they're probably not <clears throat> probably not very good. Okay? So <clears throat> I will open up the place on um, our work so uh, our website. Uh, I was looking over at my calendar. Um, next week uh, which is, is, and it will be open September the 5th. I will open the website and you will um, have time to turn it in. Okay? It will not, it tells on the website, shoot, sorry, tells on the calendar when it will open, when you can turn it in, and when it will close, which means that will be late after that time. It's all up on the calendar. I started to read it to you, but I'm not going to do it. Look it up, okay? Look it up on the calendar. Look it up on OWL, and you'll do great in this class. If I don't teach anything else, what I want to teach that will stay with you the rest of your life is to follow the directions. Have a great week.